Hey everyone! Welcome back to Your Channel Name, where we dive deep into the stock market to help you make informed investment decisions. Today, we're focusing on KULR Technology Group Incorporated, ticker symbol KULR. We'll break down what's been happening with the stock, what you need to know, and whether it's a buy, hold, or sell. So, let's get into it. First off, let's talk about what KULR Technology does. KULR is a company specializing in advanced thermal management solutions, primarily for the aerospace, automotive, and electronics sectors. They're known for their high-performance battery safety and thermal management products, which are becoming increasingly crucial as technology advances. Now, let's take a look at Kohler's recent performance. Over the past few months, the stock has seen some volatility. It had a strong start to the year but recently faced a pullback. As of August 2024, KULR is trading around $x.xx per share. If we dive into the chart, we can see that KULR hit a high of $xx.xx in month slash date, but then dropped to its current level. There's been a lot of speculation around the company's upcoming product releases and their potential impact on revenue. So, what's driving these fluctuations? Here are a few key factors. Product developments, KULR has some exciting new products in the pipeline. If their upcoming launches live up to expectations, we could see a significant boost in stock value. Industry trends, the demand for advanced thermal management is rising, particularly in the electric vehicle and aerospace industries. If KULR can capture a larger market share, that's great news for investors. Financial health, recently, the company reported, mentioned any recent earnings report or financial updates. Their revenue has been increasing slash decreasing, and they're focusing on expansion slash research and development slash etc. Analysts have mixed opinions on KULR right now. Some see it as a promising growth stock with potential for long-term gains, while others are cautious due to current market conditions and the company's financial performance. It's essential to consider these perspectives and how they align with your investment strategy. So, should you buy, hold, or sell KULR? Here's what I think. Buy, if you believe in the long-term potential of advanced thermal management and are willing to weather some short-term volatility, KULR could be a strong addition to your portfolio. Hold, if you're already invested, it might be wise to hold and wait for further developments before making any moves. Sell, if you're concerned about the company's current performance and the potential risks outweigh the rewards, you might consider selling, remember, this is just an overview. It's crucial to do your own research and consider consulting with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stock analyses and market updates. Let me know in the comments what stocks you'd like to see reviewed next. 1.